Hey guys, so today I thought that I would do another um, <clears throat> quick chat video just because, like I said, my iMovie isn't working and I'm not getting it fixed till Friday and it's Wednesday. Um, I already have videos that are ready for the rest of this week, but as for next week, I don't have any yet, so I just thought that I would do this quick chat video just so I could at least have a video for next Monday. I have a video that's going up today, Wednesday, and then I have one that's going up on Friday. So what I'm trying to do is like Monday, Wednesday, Friday with my videos just so I have a more consistent, you know, um, uploading schedule to my channel if that makes sense. And I've been doing pretty good for the past two weeks. So we'll see how it goes. But first of all, I want to apologize for my hair. I look like an actual poodle and my forehead looks like the size of Texas, but what are you going to do? So <laughs> Moving on from my rant, um, I just thought that for this quick chat video I would do a pregnancy update because I will be 35 weeks on um, Friday. Yeah, I'll be 35 weeks on Friday. And yesterday I had one of my ultrasounds, so I have some pictures to show you guys and I just want to update you guys on how I'm feeling and everything, so yeah. First, I guess I'll just show you these ultrasound pictures, and then I'll explain to you guys how that went. So, his hand was in front of his face pretty much the whole time. That's why his lips are so smushed. But this is Hendrix. If it'll, there we go. He's so cute. Look at his little smushy face. We think that that's how he's going to sleep because in... Excuse me. And every single ultrasound, that's how he's um, looked. So, like, he's always had his hand, like, over here or like this. So, that's how he's probably going to sleep, which is so adorable. And then here's some more. I mean, the, the pictures aren't really that good just because, like I said, he does have his hand in front of his face. So, you can't see him as well, but it's okay. What are you going to do? And the doctor kept trying to get him to move around and stuff, but he didn't want to because he's stubborn like his mom. So, that's good to know already. <laughs> um, ultrasound went well. Um, like most of you know, my due date is November 24th, but on the screen he showed us and it was estimated that my due date is now going to be the 18th since he is growing a little bit quicker. And they also said that he was weighing 5.15 Five pounds, 15 ounces, which is awesome. So he might be a big baby. Um, the estimated due date is a little bit less than a week. I think it's maybe six days before, but honestly, you guys, I don't think I can wait that long. I don't think it's going to be that late. I think he's coming in the beginning of November. I know this sounds horrible probably to some of you, but my family actually has, um, a little bet going on <laughs> right now on when he's going to come. We all bet $5 and um, I had bet at first but I told them to take me out of it because I was like if I really want to win this bet I could like I could make him come when I think he's going to come. So I think that he's coming I don't know if that's the second week. I feel like around November 7th is when he's going to come. Most of us have picked like days in the beginning or towards the middle of the month. I don't think I'm going to make it till my act to my actual due date. Um, I'm trying to push it as far as I can, but as long as I get to 37 weeks, like I don't care. I will try and get that baby out of me, <laughs> which I know sounds horrible, but I'm ready. I'm ready for him to be here. I'm ready to not be pregnant anymore. I can barely breathe. So yeah. How I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Um, I still don't look as pregnant as I am, I feel like. And also, I can barely breathe. Like, I don't know if you can tell, I'm out of breath. Like, it's horrible being out of breath. I can't stand it. Um, I wake up three to four times a night now to go to the bathroom to, like, go pee. It's so annoying. And every single time I wake up, he's awake. Like, I can feel him moving. So, I guess he just wants me to get up and move around a little bit for him or something, which is fine. I don't mind waking up in the middle of the night like I do. I usually, I'm in bed or asleep before 11 o'clock, usually by 10, and I'll wake up at 2, and then I'll wake up again at like 4, and then I wake up at like 7. So, 
two to three times a night I'll wake up unless I go to sleep earlier than what I usually do. I'll wake up like around 11.30 and then 2.30 and then I'll wake up at like 4. So that's how that goes. Um, I feel like it's helping me prepare for him more. Like, oh, this is what it's going to be like when I actually have my newborn, my newborn. So I don't mind it. It's helping me prepare and it's not hard for me to get up or anything in the middle of the night, which I feel like is a good thing because I, I feel like it's helping me prepare for him and when he gets here like I won't have a problem getting up in the middle of the night or whatever to feed him or change him whatever he needs um what else can I update you guys on um like I said I'm feeling really well actually just besides the fact that I can't breathe and I'm starting to feel a bit heavy and like I can't move as much um I've only gained 13 pounds total um I believe I was like let me check my phone, actually. Let me log on to the app. I've only gained 13 pounds, but I can't remember how much I weighed at the beginning. Um, let's see. Health summary? No, not there. Appointments. So, let's see. Mm, no, not then. Okay, so I was 166 when I first found out. I am now 180, so I've actually gained 14 pounds. Is that right? 14? Something like that. But I guess you can say I, I gained more than that because I had lost um, about three pounds or I got down to 160 so I lost like six pounds then I gained it back and then some so but from my initial weight I've only gained 14 pounds which is really good um I've been I've not I haven't been trying to keep my weight down but I feel like it is a good thing that I'm not gaining so much weight because I don't want to be overweight I don't want to have diabetes or anything like that so yeah I've only gained 14 pounds and I'll show you guys my stomach I guess so here is my stomach can I back up some not really here he is you can tell that he's still high up um oh also he was um head down yesterday so he's just preparing himself to come out you can still tell that he's pretty high up though because my stomach is still like a little bit smaller down here than up here but and it's hard right now and he was moving when I was touching him so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the update, I guess. Um, this needs to be focused. Um, I think I'm going to start doing updates every week now. Just because we are getting into, like, the stretch of, like, a month or so before he's here. So I thought that it would be cool to just do an update every week. Um, see how my belly is growing every week now, considering I'll be gaining, I believe they say... You gain like half of a pound every week. Well, the baby gains half of a pound every week um, during your third trimester. So, yeah, I will see you guys next week for an update. And, yeah, like always, let me know what you guys want to see from me. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video.